That must have been a pretty awful lunch out by the boardwalk overlooking the beach and the pool. So glad you came back in. Anyway, my name is Alex Potts. I'm a lawyer based in Bermuda. Big up Bermuda. Is there anyone in the room from Bermuda? Stick your hand up now. Ah, oh, Chief Justice Caverly. Um, I'll try not to be too rude about any Bermuda reported judgments, Judge. Um, now, alongside me is the very um, distinguished barrister Tom Lowe QC, who practices both in England and Wales and the Cayman Islands. And, and he is uh, very knowledgeable about the topic that we're going to be discussing, because he's actually had the privilege of appearing in one of the cases that we'll be talking about. Uh, I hear some music from next door, and that's how exciting the one next door is, if you're missing out on that one. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about uh, TIRS, Tax Information Exchange Agreements, as will uh, Tom be. Um, is there anyone in the room, other than the Chief Justice, uh, who we've already identified, who works for the um, IRS in the United States of America? Anyone willing to put their hands up? One or two people. Uh, is there anyone here from the um, HMRC in the UK? No one from HMRC? Anyone from um, Le Gouvernement de la France? Nobody here, that's fortunate. And no one here from the Australian Tax Office, I appreciate. Okay, well, moving on very quickly. Um, those of you in the room who know nothing about this may benefit from a very quick introduction, and I apologize if this is already um, old news for most of you. What exactly are tiers and where do they come from? Well, well they're really brain children of the OECD and the OECD Glo Global Forum on Transparency and Exchange of Information for Tax Purposes. And you'll be interested to note that, that the Global Forum now has a membership of about 120 jurisdictions plus the EU. Uh, that includes all the G20 member states um, and all the OECD members and a very large number of offshore financial centers or international financial centers as they often prefer to be called. Now, the Global Forum was set up in 2000, 2001, and, and it's, uh, it, it received you know, very uh, positive commitments from most jurisdictions in 2000s, uh, 